Exo Primal was released in July of 2023 and was published by Capcom and developed by Capcom as well. And generally, Capcom over the last few years have been, you know, hitting home runs. They've been bringing out some really awesome games, some great Resident Evils, among others. And Exo Primal is a new IP where you take control of an Exo fighter in a ra wide range of different Exo suits which some of them you have to pay real money for, but that's you know just another caveat of modern gaming, I suppose. And you go up against an artificial intelligence called Leviathan, which pits you against waves of different kinds of dinosaurs, which is pretty cool. In a lot, you know, I mean, it's a it's a cool idea. Um, you can have like thousands of these raptors or whatnot coming at you, and you get to fight Carnotaurus, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Triceratops. You know, Pachycephalosaurus, that kind of stuff, and you you're also pitted against another team of four, so it's sort of PVE up to a point until you get to like a, an objective that you've got to push, and then it becomes PVP. You can zoom into the other team's um, PVE area as a dinosaur and try and take down a couple of them to halt them. So you're always kind of uh, bumping heads with the end with, with the other team. Now, unfortunately, this is a game that was released with pr quite, not uh, overwhelmingly positive, but positive reviews, generally. Even myself, I made a, vi a few videos on it last year, and I I, I really liked the game. I just re I reinstalled it. I thought, hey, I'll play Exo Prime. I haven't played that in a couple of months. And unfortunately, uh, in 2024, less than a year um, after the game's release, it is quite dead um, uh, on PC. I'm not 100% sure if there's crossplay uh, with other consoles, but on PC especially, the player count is quite low. It took me about five to ten minutes to get into a game, and you can't, to my knowledge, play with bots um, or offline or anything. Um, but when I actually got into the game, which is your, what you're seeing now. You know, I, I realised that, wow, this game is one of those that I... It's kind of like Anthem. Although Anthem launched with a ton of issues, whereas Exo Primal didn't, really. Um, but Anthem should have been worked on, and they should have brought out the Anthem 2.0 update. And they should have carried on, and it would have been one of the premier live service games today. Exo Primal hasn't really had anything added to it. Um, to kind of incentivize you to go back like there's no like, they haven't mixed anything up it's pretty much the same as it was when it was released in july and i don't think there's going to be anything else they've had a few seasons and a few events and that kind of thing but they haven't really had anything like with a wave factor um and uh I'll, I'll, yeah I'll, I'll, like it's two it's two teams and I think I've been saying up until this point in this video that there's teams of four, it's not, it's teams of five. <laughs> but you can have different exosuits which are really fun and different weapon variations and things to use. I'm using one that uses like grenade launchers and uh, you know explosives and that kind of stuff. It is it is a cool game, I do like it, I like the idea, it's fun to play, it's mindless fun, it's nothing, it's nothing amazing, it's nothing um, super outside of the box besides your robots fighting dinosaurs, which is the cool concept. But apart from that, it's. I would say it's worth getting on the cheap if you can, but I don't think I can recommend it because it takes so long to get into a match that it's. You might you may feel like you've wasted your money, um, and it's disappointing really because live live service games the developers need to commit. You need to commit to it. Like I got a funny feelings, um, Skull and Bones is going to go down the same path. Now I don't have Skull and Bones, and I do not have Suicide Squad, but I got a feeling that those two are going to basically be strangled off and killed by their respective developers and publishers, which is a shame. You know, that if you're going to make a live service game that people are going to spend money on, you have to commit. I know it's all about making money, but you have to spend money to make money. You have to make your games awesome, stand out, and be incredible, and they will make you money. If you build it, they will come, as I said. But, yeah, if you're checking out Exo Primal and you're just looking at videos and you found this one, I have to say that it is pretty dead. Um, you can find matches, but it takes a while. Um, I played it for about an hour. And in between each match, once I well, once I found a match, it wasn't too bad. 
because uh, then you can kind of stick with the same people going on and get spat into different uh, different rounds but sometimes getting in there can take a while but let me know in the comments thing below if you played exo prime or if this is one that you're just not going to touch <laughs> and as always thank you very much for watching you are defeated these results indicate that your skill set is no longer of use congratulations on your forcible mortal retirement